Hello friends, the Bible tells in Psalms chapter 68 verses 35 that awesome is God from his sanctuary. The God of Israel, he is the one who gives us power and strength and he is to be praised, he is to be honored. And the scripture says, blessed be God forever. Now, dear brothers and sisters, when you and I give all praise, all glory and all honor to God, we draw strength from him. We draw power from him and we can face the day. So as we're going to sing this first song, I want to invite all of you to sing that our God is an awesome God. This is a song written by Rich Mullins back in the 90s and it's a beautiful song which has traveled all over the globe and those of you who love rap music you can rap with me and I invite all of you to sing this song. So let us praise and thank the Lord and let us enter his courts with praise and thanksgiving as we sing the song Awesome God. Up his sleeves, see angels putting on the reds. There is thunder in his footsteps and lightning in his face. Well, the Lord wasn't joking when he kicked him out of Eden. It wasn't for no reason when he shed his blood. His retard is very close, and so you better be believing that our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He Jesus tells in Luke chapter 9 verses 26 those who are ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of them the son of man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his father with the holy angels now today we are going to sing one song called take it all in the song the writer says that Jesus we are living for your name and we will never be ashamed of you I remember when I was in college and all my colleagues not even one all of them were pessimist all of them were coming from atheistic culture or I did literature when I was in college in Delhi University and people were all writing about drugs sex and I was in the music society and my professors they loved me because I was writing about God I was writing about nature 
and in the secular field they say this comes under the romantic genre of poetry like the god songs that we do now romantic genre is something which happened before science like all the poets most of them were writing about god and nature and post that we had a lot of pessimistic writers and songwriters and music on the rise but i would write god songs and i'll win awards i'll sing songs and i remember like even sitting in the jam room where we practice and rehearse there i would sing these songs that i have written and uh, people are all taking weed <laughs> they will do drugs they loved alcohol and they were they are all in their cloud nine moment and i will sing these jesus songs because i am convinced that i am not going to be ashamed of him because this is what taught me music that is jesus songs why should i be ashamed and there was this one incident in my life i remember very close friend of mine he was a very good writer even a better writer than me and you know sometimes they develop this jealousy and he came he was a karate black belt he came and he just gave me some punch i was down <laughs> and my blood was sizzling you know full of passion i went to him then i recalled jesus said if somebody does that to you you show the other cheek so i told him brother if it were not christ in me i would have shown you but i forgive you and he said oh never mind and he just left and i said all is well but when i was returning home i i was so happy i was so at peace that i am not ashamed of the gospel and that's what we see if a paul who saw jesus in a vision he did not meet him in person other apostles did he boldly writes in romans chapter 1 verse 16 that for i am not ashamed of the gospel it is the power of god for salvation to everyone who has faith to the jew first and also to the greek for us it could be the muslims the hindus the sikhs we have to reach out to them with the name of jesus it it's preaching is simple singing songs are simple but to become witnesses to say no to drugs to say no to abusive language and that's what this unashamed witness is all about so let us sing this song let us say that jesus we are living for your name and we will never be ashamed of you no matter what it costs let us sing this song take it all
me vergonzaré oh, oh, Otero, torele que yo Toma, tómalo, toma, tómalo Jesus, por ti yo viviré Y nunca me vergonzaré oh, oh, Otero, torele que yo Toma, tómalo, toma, tómalo Jesus, hell and fighting We'll never be shared of you Oh, 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 I pray Is it all we have today? Take, take, take it all Take, take, take it all Jesus, hell and Dear brothers and sisters, Darlene Sheikh tells that when we are in God's presence and when we praise Him, all the people are set free because God inhabits or is being enthroned on the praises of His people. And we know when we praise God as God's people and as we come into His presence with praise, a kind of warfare is waged against our enemies and our Praise is irresistible to God. Isn't it amazing? So let us all lift our hands towards heaven. And look at Jesus and give him all praise in the language that we know. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we declare you as the king above all kings, as the ruler of the whole universe. Thank you, Jesus. You are my prince of peace. From the rising of the sun, I will praise you. Father, I give you all glory. Thank you for giving us your son, Jesus. Thank you for the work on the cross. Thank you for the fruits and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. We love you. We praise you. Hallelujah. Now, brothers and sisters, we are going to worship Lord Jesus, who is being enthroned at the right hand of the Father through the gift of the Holy Spirit that is there in us. Let us worship the Holy Spirit. We want to sing this next song called My Best Friend, written by one of my prayer group members, Reginald Jose. He attended a personal retreat. He was still in his youth. And that was the time when he attended a retreat. And after the retreat, he wrote this song that Holy Spirit, it's amazing when you speak that gentle voice. And oh Holy Spirit, you are my best friend. So this song is called My Best Friend and let us worship King Jesus. Let this fire enable me to keep living. 
living for my Lord. Keep this fire burning, O、oh、Spirit. Let it never die out. Let this fire enable me to keep living for my. Isn't this amazing? Let us all listen to this gentle voice of the Holy Spirit, and let us ask the Holy Spirit to come and fill us with signs and wonders, and especially a new Pentecost experience. Let us intercede in the gift of tongues. Those who don't have, I once again encourage you to set your tongues loose and trust in Lord Jesus, just like a little child who doesn't know anything, who babbles. And doesn't know anything. So just like a little child, let us come before Jesus and let us intercede in tongues. Oh, Rala Rama, Shia Rama, Karafa Bar, Shuddha Rama, Karafa Bar, Rala Rama, Shia Rama, Karafa Bar, Yeshu Jwala Masia Rama, Karafa Bar, Oh, Rila Rama, Rala Rama, Shia Rama, Karafa Bar, Malakamara Sudhi Rala Rama, Karafa Bar. Shudre ya la rama kara faba ra la rama, shundru wa la rama kara faba ra la rama, shundra ma khasi ya la rama khaba ra la rashi re ma re la rama khaba, or ya la rama kara faba ra la rama shi ra ma kara faba. Pray jano, hum aaj aradna karenge, poorn tarike se. Maine geet likha tha, tu mera sab kuch hai khuda. तू मेरा जीवन है खुदा तुझ में मैंने पाया अनंत जीवन तुझ में मैंने पाया आशा की किरण ये गीत जब हम गाएंगे हम सब पूर्ण तरीके से पूरा जीवन हम प्रभु को समर्पित करेंगे और प्रभु की आराधना करेंगे सब कुछ है खुदा तू मेरा जीवन है खुदा तू मेरा सब कुछ है खुदा तू मेरा जीवन है खुदा तुझ में मैंने पाया अनंत जी में मैंने पाई आशा की किरण तुझ में मैंने पाया अनंत जीवन तुझ में मैंने पाई आशा की किरण पाप की राहों में जब मैं खोया था तूने दिया नया जी कहता रहूंगा और मैं गाऊंगा 
in the first letter of John chapter 5 verses 5 that who is it that overcomes the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the son of God isn't it amazing that whenever we journey in this session of praise and worship Jesus invites us to believe in him to have faith in him and that's what we see in the book of Psalms chapter 30 verses 11 to 12 that you have turned my mourning into dancing you have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy so that my soul may praise you and not be silent oh lord my god i will give thanks to you forever the next song that we're going to take is a song called this is how we overcome by Hillsong. You know, the one who sang this song has taught us many things about praise and worship. Her name is Darlene Sheik. Some of you might know her. The famous writer of the song Shout to the Lord. She writes in her book Extravagant Worship about praise. She tells that praising God with other believers releases explosive faith that frightens the enemy isn't that amazing when we praise God when we sing songs of praise it frightens the enemy and it releases explosive faith so dear brothers and sisters if it is comfortable for you let us all stand and let us praise the Lord by singing this song this is how we overcome <laughs>
is how we praise God today and as we sing this song Romans chapter 16 verses 19 says Paul says that be excellent in what is good and stay innocent of evil you know if you're not in position leadership this is what as Christians we have to do excel in what we do or what we can do good excel and stay innocent of evil Again, that childlike thing, you know, whenever you see wrong things, avoid it. I don't want it. I just want to do good. I want to praise my God through my living. And that's where worship becomes a lifestyle. So let us sing this song with full joy, full enthusiasm. And let us give our hearts and minds to Jesus as we dance and rejoice in the Lord. Let us sing Romans 16, 19 says, Crusade and underneath your feet, and the God of peace will soon crusade and 